What's up, guys? Welcome back to a Nintendo Switch video. I had to redo the intro three different times just to get the words out of my mouth. So today I'm going to be showing you a little trick. If you can't tell me the, the title of the video, I actually seen this on video on Facebook and some other sites. I had to change the controller turn on the TV there. So you guys will hear that. I had to change the controller display color. So as you can see, the bottom the bottom left two is this one. I have my Switch down here, which has the other one, and I have this one I want to use for testing purposes on the PC. So, as you can tell, I'll, just, I'll do this. So, this is the right one. You see the green and the link color display. So, we'll go down here. My, because my, 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 my Switch is down here. You see how it was switched? Get it? Switch. Haha. <laughs> so, if you go back up to here, right, I'll pull another dock because that'd be bad. So, you goes back to that. Yeah, I wasn't trying to do that. But, to make on, please. To make on, please. It's making me liar now. There we go. See how it works. So, I'm gonna show you on the computer on, on how you how you change the color display on whatever you want, and it will actually save that way. So let me switch back to the computer. So the first step on how, on how to accomplish this goal is to you want to go on to your whatever you're using Windows Seven Eight. If you're using the unfortunate Windows 10, which I'm sorry about your luck, I am too. I'm stuck with it. <laughs> you want to, like Windows 10 and Windows 10, if you go down to here, go down to Bluetooth, open it up, and you you actually need you actually need a, a PC with Bluetooth capabilities, or some kind of a you, you, uh, kind of Bluetooth dongle for this to work. So on the Switch controller, hit the hit the sync button, hold it in until it flashes. So soon, soon it does it, I'll let you know. Okay. See how it's flashing? If you can see it off, off my green screen. Next one, go to Add Bluetooth Device and Bluetooth. It should pull up the Joy-Con right. It'll connect all that fun shit. Connected, it'll say it's undergoing additional setup. And it should eventually pop up with something like already done. Okay. Anyways, for now, it should, it should, I want to say it'll tell you when it's done setting up. So you want to go like that. So next you want to go to the program is called J, what's it called? JC Tool, which I'll have a link down below to the description of the, uh, the extra program itself. I felt like I found off another person's website, I wanted to share it out there for, for you guys that do watch my channel, which who, whoever that does. But yeah, so these four files are the, is the, 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 uh, the files off the, the, off the Joy Cons. So. <clears throat> open up the JC tool. As soon as you open it up, you'll see that you'll hear it vibrate. You know what? I'm gonna see that I have that. It's red with black buttons. And as soon as you, as soon as you plug this in, or as soon as you do the Bluetooth on it, you want to go to it says backup SPI. I'm not doing it now because I don't need to. But you want to hit that, and it'll back up the firmware off the Joy-Con to the PC, which is the file, the bin files right here. That or that's those files and. For security purposes, I am blocking out my my serial number and my MAC address. Because you guys don't need to see it, you know. So once once you once you've done that, it takes my computer took about five minutes to do the SPI backup. Some might take longer, I don't know, but it's about 500, 512 gigabytes. I'm sorry, kilobytes. <laughs> kilobytes. And then if you want, you can change the body color, or whatever you want. These right here are the. Some of the default Nintendo colors. So if you, if you have one you want to change the color to, like if you have a blue one, you want to make it blue, this works too. So we're going to go, we'll go this color, we'll go pink, whatever. Then we'll go to button colors. And then go to green or yellow. <clears throat> Hit OK. Now it changes it. I'm not going to, actually, not a will. I'll, I will write the colors to it. So I'll show you back up, do the backup first. It literally takes about five minutes. Yes. If you can feel the control of vibrate, you'll see body color written to SPI, hit OK. So as you see, it's now pink with yellow buttons, okay? Next, I have to go back to the switch and I'll show you what it looks like on this switch. Now for the second part, actually, the, the second part of this video is this is the same remote that I have tied to the PC still. You see the two blue light, green lights, if you can see them on the green screen. So now we're going to go down to the switch. You'll see on the right, the right controller, you'll, you'll, see, you'll see it kind of light up here. So, try doing this one-handed here. Get down there. Oh, I can't get that. Again, my, my switch is down here. So, as soon as we lock it back in place, it will lock back into the sink. And you'll see it pop up with the color like that. 
So if I did it again, I'll try again for purposes here. There's that. And now it's there. So that is how you will how you would change the color of the Joy-Con on screen. So anyone anyway, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, do me like it down below. If you have any other tutorials you want to see me do, let me know down below as well. Because I do fully plan on changing these colors on the actual Joy-Cons themselves at some point. I had to order the truck the tri-wing security screwdriver to open them up. So, anyways, did enjoy like I said, like, subscribe, all the fun jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next one.